Blind beauty. Christopher Reeves said, Once you choose hope, anything's possible. Hello everyone and welcome to Blind Beauty. I'm Jennifer. What I thought I would do today is I want to do an anti-haul. Some people may not be familiar with what an anti-haul is, so I thought I'd explain a little bit about that. Basically, a, a haul in general is where you buy new products. Where you get new products, whether it's through the mail, you buy them in the store, or whatever the case may be. But it's a haul of products. Now, an anti-haul means these are products you will not see me spending my money on. You know, if I get sent them by someone else or, you know, for a birthday gift, because I have a birthday coming up and everything, you know, then that's different. But I personally will not spend my money on them for an anti-haul. Now this video is going to be split up into two parts. This first part is going to be items that have already been released. And I have all them here. I only have eight of them. And then the second part is going to be items yet to be released. That I've just seen things on Instagram, Facebook, wherever on these items. And I'm still like, yeah, yeah. So, give me a big thumbs up if you like anti-hauls and if you like to know what I really don't want from the drugstore. Because that is what this is going to be. Completely drugstore. Because this girl ain't got the money to be buying high-end. Ain't no way, Jose. <laughs> and I also hope that you subscribe for this look right here because I will be doing a video on it as well. I just have to do some editing, voiceovering, all that stuff. So, hope you subscribe for that as well. Alright. Let's get into it. The first item that I'm going to talk about is the Wet n Wild Flight of Fancy set. Now that is a limited edition set. In general, I don't buy limited edition anyway. But that right there, that is one thing that I personally wouldn't buy. I love Wet n Wild. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favorite brands that it is very affordable at the drugstore. But Light of Fancy, I just can't see buying it because once they take it off the shelves, you can't use it. In tutorials at least anymore, well I could, but you know, then people really couldn't easily get their hands on it. That's the thing. So, but it has some really pretty eyeshadow palettes, some lip uh, products, some real pretty eyeliners. I mean, I've seen different people do reviews of the box. And it retails for $39.99, or you can buy individual things from them for anywhere from $2.99 to $7.99 each. I believe the $7.99 item was a brush or brush set or something like that. But still, you know. And now we're going to try to go somewhat in order of what I put it on my face. Keyword, somewhat. Um, and I am looking down into a notebook here because I have all this written down so that I don't go off on a tangent, which I typically do on these videos, but <laughs> that's life, that's me, that's keeping it real, y'all, keeping it real, you know, uh, but the Essence Luminizing, or no, Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder, I mean, to me, that's just an oxymoron. How can it be matte, but yet luminous? I, I don't get that. So that's something that, yeah, just because of the shade selection I saw and the overall, because it looks like a little circle, and I'll try to insert photos somewhere around here of each of these items as well. But the photos I've seen were just not that impressive anyway. I mean, it almost looked like a bullseye to me. And it's like, yeah, no, I don't like split pan, that, you know, that kind of thing where you have to be careful whether you're getting your cool tone highlight or cool tone bronzer or your highlight or mix the two together and get some weird combination that you can't repeat again. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Okay, and that retails for $4.49. I mean, that is really reasonable for a bronzer. I mean, most e.l.f. bronzers anymore are like 4 bucks, unless you buy the Essential brand, which are the $2 bronzers, which 
you know, the one I have is not bad. So, but there's a Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. Now, I've seen this going around YouTube. It's been going crazy. People have been doing it. And to me, it's just not my favorite colors to use. You know, there's a lot of real bright colors. There's even a bright canary yellow in this palette. There's a, to me, it looks canary yellow at least in the pictures. Then there's like a real reddish color. You know, and it's like, yeah, no, uh-uh. Now, I know I could do some more neutrally looks probably somewhat like I have on my eyes today but still it's not my cup of tea and it especially is not worth $10.99 in my book and that is all these prices by the way are from the company's directly website not from Walmart not from Ulta not from Sephora well none of these would be at Sephora anyway but you know all these are from the company direct website the prices I'm quoting you but yeah that's just not it has like, I think it had 12 shadows, which is not bad, but still. 12 shadows, 11 bucks, whenever you can get a four pan palette from Wet n Wild for three bucks. You know. Elf Beautifully Bare, yeah, I did say that right. Beautifully Bare Brow Gel. Now the Beautifully Bare line, it is a more expensive line in my book from Elf. Now, this product in particular is only $5, which is not bad. But, there are other products out there that you can get, like the $2 e.l.f. pencil. That's awesome for me. You know, there's even the clear brow gel through e.l.f. Love that. I haven't tried uh, AOA Studios brow gel yet, but eventually I hope to. And I'm sure that would even outbeat spending 5 bucks. Beautifully Bare is supposed to be, from what I understand, embracing your natural beauty. Well, why charge more to embrace your natural beauty, elf? Why? I mean, if you want to embrace your natural beauty, embrace it! <laughs> Don't expect us to pay a crap ton more. Yeah. But yeah, five bucks for that. And then they also have a, and I'll jump to lips for this right here, the lip tint. To me, I just wasn't impressed with the shade range of that at all, uh, as well as it just didn't look like anything spectacular. It looked like a cheap dollar lip gloss like they used to have years ago whenever I first started doing makeup. It's, it's ridiculous to pay five bucks for that. I mean... You can go on shopmissa.com and get stuff for a dollar. That probably does just as good, if not better, than that tint. Uh, the next item is the CoverGirl Flourish Mascara. Now this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it had different like oils in it, possibly. It's supposed to be, to me it looks like it's gonna be more of a natural lash. If I want natural lash, I'll just skip mascara. Thank you! I pass. See ya! I like bold. If I'm gonna go with mascara and risk poking my eye out for something, I want some definition. I want some length. Don't give me that natural crap. You know, but... And it's $6.99, so to me it's getting on up there in price. Whenever you can get the Essence one that I've got on my lashes right now, even cheaper, you know, from Ulta. So, yeah, I say, pass. <laughs> and then the Milani Amore Metallic Lip. It's a liquid lipstick, from what I can understand. And the price on this is just outrageous. I mean, completely and utterly outrageous it's nine bucks to me that's borderline borderline high-end in my opinion i know it's technically like half the price of most high-end but still if i'm gonna pay anything for a liquid lip like that yeah i might pay six seven bucks you know eight bucks here and there but nine bucks for a lipstick whenever you could go on 
ShopMissA.com and get the Wonder Metals lipsticks for a dollar? Yeah. No. Uh-uh. There are some pretty colors, I'll admit that. But still, I ain't willing to fork out nine bucks. Mm-mm, no. Especially if I don't know how the formula is or anything like that. It ain't no way, no how. And then, the final product I have here is the Elf Makeup Remover Balm. It looks like, honestly, it looks like a huge thing of chapstick. Really? But, that is eight bucks. I mean, they have a smaller one, even for your eyes, apparently now, too. Or they might have had that one for a while, too, but, you know. But this is a, supposedly a newer product. All these products are marked as new or have been heavily promoted on Instagram recently. But the balm, it's like, yeah, no. I'm not paying $8 for what I could use coconut oil and do. Yeah, coconut oil's not in a stick, but I'm sure that if I put it in a deodorant stick, that I could make my own balm stick. But yeah, no. No, I'm not paying $8 for that. You know, for me, what deserves my money? Let me know if you want to know, see a video on what I do want to get eventually. You know, because there's so many new releases out there. And some people may be like, well, what is she looking, actually wanting to get to expand her makeup collection even more? What is she wanting to get to test out on the channel? So thank you so much for watching and please follow me on all my social media including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all that. And I also have a Facebook group where we talk about all things beauty and you can find all my links below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day. Bye bye.